Hello everyone, and welcome back to my show where I teach you about JavaScript code and the web and anything else that really tickles my fancy that I want you to know about, that I know about, that I think that you should know about as well. This week, I want to tell you about something that has to do with shoes, pants, sunglasses, shirt, button down, crew neck, v-neck, sweater, I don't know. Uh, but these are all things that if you wear them correctly, they make you look quite pretty. And that's what I want to talk to you about this week is Prettier, which is an opinionated code formatter for JavaScript, but also for many other languages as well. I've been using Prettier for a while now, and I honestly can't imagine a world where Prettier doesn't exist. It has become so ingrained in my daily workflow of writing code, reading code, and thinking about code that it's almost second nature to me. This episode is all about Prettier, what it is, how does it work, why you should care, and also, most importantly, how you can start using it today, because that's why you come to this channel, right? You wanna know how to actually use the things that I'm talking about, and I will have a full demo workflow for you at the end of this video, but first, I gotta tell you some words about what Prettier is. So first things first, Prettier, as I said before, is an opinionated code formatter. What that means is that it takes the code that you write, it goes through Prettier, and Prettier then takes your code, reads it, and then outputs formatted code for you. So you can write the most ugly piece of code that's not pretty and prettier make it prettier. When prettier first came out, it was just supporting JavaScript, but since then it's grown to support many different languages. It supports CSS, less SAS, it supports HTML, JSON, GraphQL, Markdown, YAML. It also supports framework specific uh, libraries to also format things according to conventions in those libraries as well, such as Angular, Vue, uh, TypeScript, JSX as well. So uh, Prettier knows how to make many things pretty nowadays. So that's cool, great, it can format code, why should you care? Well, there's a few reasons why Prettier is gonna be great for your workflow. Uh, the first one is that, and the biggest one in my opinion, is that it makes your code consistent. So when you come back to your application that you've been developing, if you like leave it alone, come back in six months, you can still read it without actually being confused about the style conventions that you use for the individual project. Prettier makes all your applications look the same, which is a strength, not a weakness, especially if you're working on a team at work and everyone has their own coding styles. It may be that um, Barry in the corner has his style of having, you know, aggressive line breaks for different between different method calls, and that just makes it harder for you to actually read and understand the code. With Prettier, all the code looks the same, so you can actually read all the code the same. And most of the time, we as application engineers and developers spend most of our time reading code than we do writing our code. And you wouldn't want to have to read a book and have every other page be in a different font. That would just confuse the heck out of you. So that's what Prettier also solves. And also what's great about Prettier is if you are a new engineer, uh, Prettier, because it adopts community-wide best practices, it will actually help you learn those best practices practices as well. It'll teach you the best style conventions because your code will be automatically formatted and it's essentially having a tutor right by your side automatically correcting and giving you suggestions on the ways in which you should format your code better. Uh, whenever I see code that's been formatted probably prettier, I assume that the developer is a rock star, ninja, warrior, goddess, uh, chieftain uh, because their code looks what Prettier says it should. That's hyperbole, but that's almost close to reality. And because Prettier follows community-wide best practices, it also is constantly updating and improving itself to actually follow as trends change. So as they've done a thing with ternaries where it was one style, but then they saw that actually the community does it this way, so they actually updated that. And because Prettier is just a tool, uh, you can just run it over your code twice, and it'll just be updated to the newest version of that style. So what else can I tell you about Prettier before I actually show you how to use Prettier, because I know that's what you're trying to get to at the end. Uh, the first thing that the Prettier documentation has as their biggest requirement for actually developing Prettier itself is that the code that Prettier formats for you has to be valid. It can't change the behavior of your code just because it's trying to make it look better. That would be the worst thing ever. It's a code formatter that's introducing bugs. It's not a code formatter that I want in my application. So the first and primest and most important rule of Prettier, around of fingers, is to make sure that it actually outputs valid code, that when you run over all your code, it doesn't change its functionality at all. That lets me sleep much better at night, except when it's raining outside and lightning, and I get scared and worried that it's gonna come into my bedroom and strike me with lightning and I'll get catch on fire and then I'll have to jump to the shower and the shower will be off. And you know, it's just, just let's not go down that path. Also a thing to highlight is that Prettier 
is distinct but related to ESLint. Uh, ESLint being a popular JavaScript linting tool. There's linting and there's code formatting. The easiest way that I describe those differences is uh, Prettier is focused on how your code looks. Uh, linting is focused on how your code behaves. And an easy case, an easy lint rule that Prettier doesn't handle at all is unused variables. If you have a variable declared in your file that you don't use anywhere, linting will catch that, Prettier will not. Prettier is exclusively worried about format and, and looks. Linting is worried about behavior. It has some looks and style rules in there as well, but that was before Prettier came around. And if you do use Prettier and you have ESLint as well, I'd encourage you to strip out all those style rules and let Prettier just rule the roost in that case. Also, Prettier is in great company with other languages that have code formatters as well, such as Go. Uh, the language Go is famous for Go format, so that all Go code looks the same, such that you can jump into any application, any Go application, and instantly be able to read because all Go code looks the same. Again, you want a book that uses the same font throughout the entire book. You don't want there to be different fonts. You don't want, you don't want Comic Sans one page, Arial the next, and then Papyrus the next. That would kill me. Okay, that's the preamble. Kind of gives you the overview about what Prettier is. Uh, let's actually add Prettier to this application that I have here. It's a very simple create React app application. I just edited it just to show you for demo purposes here. And the first thing you do to actually make use of Prettier is to actually install it in your application. You can install Prettier uh, application uh, uh, globally if you want to, but for our use cases, we're just gonna install it locally in this application so that uh, Prettier does change their formatting from uh, minor version to minor version as they do tweak styles. So it's nice to have it locked down and be application specific. Okay, cool, so Prettier's installed. Let's start using it. We're gonna go to our index file and we're gonna use the uh, command line tool, uh, npx, that lets you actually just call the locally installed CLI tools. And if you do that, we can see that we have some commands. And we're actually going to point this to this file here, index.js. And we get back the actual Prettier code in our console, because by default, Prettier does nothing. It doesn't modify our code. To actually have it modify the file in place, we actually have to pass the write flag to actually have Prettier write the changes to disk itself. So let's run this to see what Prettier does by default. Uh, by default, it's just making all our single quotes into double quotes. That's um, uh, Prettier doesn't have many options, but one of the options is whether to use single quotes or double quotes. But that's not really a great example of what Prettier can do. So let's actually uh, write uh, an, uh, just a function for fun. We're going to call this console log. Uh, we do no so there. We're gonna call foo like this. Just make some weirdness right there. We're gonna save that. And now if I actually run Prettier over this file, we can see it actually go through and actually nicely format the code for us. Which is nice because that other way that I wrote the code was very unreadable. I don't know many people who write code like that at all. So great, we have Prettier working from the command line. However, I don't like using double quotes. I don't like it. Not at all. So what you can actually do is have a few options with Prettier that you can configure, and you do that via a Prettier RC file. So let's actually uh, make that right here. Let's open it up, and uh, I want to actually do a single quote. We're going to say use single quotes instead of double quotes. Yes, that's true. So I'm going to save that. So now if I go back to the file that I was in here and rerun Prettier on that, I now format my code to the styles that I prefer best. All those double quotes have now turned to single quotes, and I am a happy camper. But there's something else that's really cool about Prettier. Uh, because the way that Prettier works is it actually reads this code into an AST, which is an abstract syntax tree, and then uses that to actually calculate how to format your code and print it out to the uh, file. Because of that, you can actually configure the width of how wide you want your code to fit in. So if I go back to the Prettier RC file, and I add a new option called uh, print width. I'm gonna make this an arbitrarily narrow column of uh, 20 so that I can see how Prettier will actually, you know, where's 20 lines? Let's see if I go here, maybe around there. So if I write this right here, run this, you can see it's formatted it to try to make the code fit as best as possible within 20 characters wide of space. Uh, this is if you have a very, very small monitor, that'd be a great use case for it. Uh, that's not really what I need here, so I'm gonna actually put this back to uh, 80 and then rerun this as well to make it look prettier as I did again. This is not the best workflow, having to write some code to run this CLI to actually format that code. Uh, this is probably better in a package uh, file to actually be able to run all your uh, formatting code that you want from a command in your package JSON script. So I can actually make a uh, little format script that actually uh, format things for me. I can actually change this into a glob to make this do uh, source. Uh, let's do this like that. Escape that, run a source. 
like that. So I can actually just then run uh, npm run format to actually have the uh, command line do it for me. So that's nice, nice thing to know. Uh, one thing about Prettier that I love actually adding is editor integration. That's where Prettier truly shines is when you actually have it built into your editor such that when you save a file, Prettier automatically runs over your code and formats for you right away. So I use VS Code as my editor of choice. Uh, there is this Prettier code formatter uh, extension for VS Code that lets me actually use Prettier integrated into my editor itself. There's uh, editor integrations for Sublime Text, uh, Atom, Vim, Emacs, pretty much every popular editor out there has support for Prettier built in. I'm gonna actually enable this to actually run on every save. So I'm gonna say format on save, I'm gonna say true. And now this is where I actually can have a lot of fun. Go back to doing what I did before, which is just like that. Hit save, things look good. Uh, we actually can go into our app.js because Prettier also wants on JSX. And what's great about Prettier is it's great for when you're formatting code and moving things around. So let's say I actually wanna take all this code and make this into a, uh, uh, actually let's first say we wanna have like an onclick handler here. So we're gonna say uh, onclick equals uh, this that onclick. And we're gonna go over here, write this, this. We're just gonna have it be um, alert. I'm gonna say alert, you clicked me. So this is code that I just wrote off the cuff. You can see that this line is longer than the 80 widths that I had set in my Prettier config. This is not really formatted correctly. I'm gonna hit save now and watch what happens. Prettier automatically makes things look as they should everywhere, just magically like that. This is also great. We actually just wanna move some code around as well. So I can actually just like kind of take all this header code, cut it, make this new little header component right here. Say, uh, Header equals uh, like that. And this all looks like crap, but when I save the file, Prettier automatically fixes it for me. That's just a very rough taste of Prettier because you can do so much more with it that makes things look great. So if I cut this because of the lines, it'll actually make it format there. It just gives you a lot of liberty and not having to worry about formatting things correctly so that other people can read it. You just let all that be offloaded to Prettier itself. That's 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 prettier. It makes your code easy to write because you don't have to worry about formatting. Prettier will do it for you. You can write the most ugly code you want. Prettier will then take it and make it look beautiful. It's easy to add to a project. It's easy to migrate existing projects to. You just gotta run all your code through Prettier. It sounds scarier than it is. The biggest pain point is probably merge conflicts if somebody's modifying the same code. So communicate with your team if you're doing that. But if you're on your own project, uh, you should be using Prettier, in my opinion, because it makes things better, it makes things easier, and it makes things prettier. Thank you for being a subscriber. If you are not already a subscriber, please do subscribe down below to get new episodes in your inbox every week. I'm back here next week again with some new fun coding videos. Have a great week and uh, talk to you again then. Bye.